Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex, here with Alex's Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at what I take in my backpack. Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex, here with Alex's Tech, and yes, today guys, we are taking a look at what I take uh, when I travel on a holiday or to various locations, uh, like to events to meet you guys, such as i55, an upcoming event in the UK, which is a gaming event, and I'm going to be there. I'd love to see all of you guys there too. But I've been getting a lot of questions saying, Alex, all the other tech YouTubers have done a what's in my bag by you. Please do one. So here we go, guys. This is a what is in my bag technology edition. So first off, we'll start off with the bag. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have space on my desk to fit the bag uh, on here. So the bag is down here. It is a North Face bag, uh, and the North it's the North Face Hot Shot bag, um, and it's it's really cool because it's got a load of hidden compartments, so you can put places to put your laptop, and it's even got side compartments where you can put places, uh, put things like your chargers uh, to charge your devices, like external battery chargers, and you can have your phones uh, or even say your passport uh, in these side compartments there, uh, and it can go fairly big. This bag is fairly big. You can fit a lot of stuff in here if you try your best. So you guys are more bothered about the stuff that goes in the bag than the bag itself so let's get straight to that first off we're going to talk about camera gear so down here we have the PowerShot G7X from Canon and as you can see this is a demonstration of the video quality in the image stabilization uh, and this is a view from what I can see from that camera so you can get an idea of the video quality uh, from this little pocket camera but this is the camera I record a lot of my videos on on the main channel if you don't know about my main channel there'll be a link in the description but that is the PowerShot G7X and a quick cheeky side note it's also recording the audio for this video alongside that we've got two batteries now this is a battery for my Sony a7s now the a7s is also a camera that I take in my backpack but unfortunately I can't show you guys that because it is currently recording this right now if I pick up this camera you guys might be able to see it it's right Right there recording this video uh, as we speak so that is the Sony uh, a7s with a 30 uh, 28 millimeter f1.8 lens on it so that will also be in my bag but it can't be right now because it's recording this video if that makes any sense that is a spare battery for the a7s and this is a spare battery for the g7x you've always got to take spare batteries because if you see your battery going on the camera your heart starts to go and it's just knowing that you have an extra hundred percent of battery makes all the difference this right here is my MacBook Pro 13 inch late 2014 top spec edition. Now this is my editing machine when I go away and it gets the job done. I can edit, just about edit 4K on this thing. Not that I do edit 4K, but it's good to know that I can. Uh, most of my projects are in 1080p and I use Final Cut Pro uh, and Adobe Premiere Pro when I edit uh, on this machine. I have both those bits of software running in unison and it is just an absolute powerhouse for its size. It's a 13 inch, it's lightweight uh, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Alongside next to that we have the iPad Mini 2 Retina display. Now this is a cheeky little tablet and the reason I like these tablets is because well I can take them down, uh, I can take them down to the beach or to the poolside or I can take them into events and put them in my pocket whereas I can't take my Mac into events and I can do stuff like web browse and look at video on this and, and listen to music on this. It's got my whole Spotify library on this. I can sync uh, all of my Spotify to this. It's just a 32 gig model and I've got a load of films on here. They're just useful to have. They don't really have a use, but they're just they're just useful, which is why I really like them. So to go along with Spotify, I have my Bose noise cancelling headphones. Now I never used to be able to get a, get to sleep uh, on aeroplanes before I had these headphones, but these have noise cancelling. So what they do when you turn them on, they actually pick up noise around you and cancel it out. And not to mention, they do look. I like a really nice headset when you wear them. So next to that, if you're wanting your sound a little bit louder, I have the Bose Soundlink Mini Portable Speaker. Now this, by far, by far, is the best portable speaker money can buy. This sounds better than a lot of big speakers that I hear. This, this sounds crisp, it has deep bass, this thing is tiny, the battery could be better, however, this thing sounds absolutely incredible and I get a lot of questions saying, Alex, you know, what's playing that music? It sounds like a really big, loud sound system and I'm like, no, this is the Bose Soundlink Mini. You have to hear one to, to understand it, but if you ever get a chance to hear one, put it up to your face like this and listen to it and it just sounds incredible. 
Okay, next to that I have my iPhone 6 Plus, 32 gigabyte in gold. Now, I don't take any Android phones with me because I don't like Android phones. Don't hate me. I'm just an I'm just an iPhone guy. I don't hate Android people. I just don't like the phones, okay? I am an iPhone guy and this is my phone. And no, I don't wear a case. I've got insurance on this phone so I can break it and I can just get a new one. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So that is my iPhone 6 Plus, 64 gigabyte. Next to that, I have a Tamron. Uh, 16 to 200 millimeter lens and this is my holiday lens uh, this is my holiday zoom lens uh, it's the lens that I take on holiday with me uh, when I'm going on holiday and I want to shoot some pictures and things that are far away I can get some zoom with this lens f2.8 so it gets a nice shallow depth of field it's a very nice lens uh, 410 pounds really recommend that lens next to that we have a piece of technology that I recommend to everyone Everyone needs to own one of these and these are a battery backup now right here I have the anchor uh, 15,000 milliamp battery backup and it actually has two USB ports uh, Here and it also has a little LED light if you get lost in the dark now This has 15,000 milliamps and if you don't know what that means that pretty much means it can charge a phone about 10 times this thing uh, lasted through Leeds Festival last year, which was a three-day festival that I attended uh, Actually four days because I went one day early uh, And I came back with about half charge on this thing after four days of use So this thing would be able to power your phone for a good week if you didn't have uh, any uh, any power sockets nearby this thing is a must-have for anyone They are really inexpensive. I'll drop links to all the products down in the description below Next to that, I have a really, really cool piece of tech, which benefits me a lot, but it might not benefit a lot of you guys, but it really benefits me, and it is a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, this one is unlocked, and the reason I got an unlocked one is so when I go to different places like Spain or France or anywhere else in the world, I can just go into a store and pick up a data SIM card. So let's say if I go to America, I can go to an AT&T in America, pick up an, uh, a data SIM card with a few gigabytes of data on it, whack it in here, and what this is gonna do is give out Wi-Fi. So on my Mac, and on my iPad and on my phone, uh, I can get internet uh, when I'm out and about. So obviously I'm going to Spain now, uh, and I've got a Spanish SIM card here, a Vodafone one already in here. I had it delivered to the house, so as soon as I get to Spain, it's all working, um, and I can have internet on my phone and on my iPad and on my Mac, uh, wherever I am, and I've got 10 gigabytes of data, so they are really useful. You need to get an unlocked one, though, so they work everywhere in the world. Now, next to those, I do have some more Bose headphones. These are in-ear headphones. Uh, I forget the actual make of these. I think they're called i100s, uh, but they'll be on the website and I'll drop a link down in the description. Uh, but these are primarily sport headphones or running headphones. But the thing is when you're on the beach or in sunny weather, you don't wanna be wearing these because they leave sweat marks around your ears because of the leather installation. Uh, what you'd rather have is some of these. So this is why I take these on holiday. It's just a backup really, just in case I'm going somewhere warm and I wanna to listen to some music. Um, and these are really easy for like when you're in cars and stuff or, uh, you know, you find in-ear headphones uh, a lot more uh, a lot more easier to wear than over ear headphones because if I'm trying to have a conversation with someone, you guys get the gist, these are hard to wear if you're trying to have a conversation with someone. So if you want to still be in, in the world but still listen to your music, I'd get some of these. So next to that I have a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Now this little bad boy shoots 4K and I am massive on my water sports when I go uh, to a foreign country. If I go to a foreign country, I will have water sports in mind. I'll be wanting to go and jet skiing and fucking on the banana boat and I wanna record it all for you guys. So this is the little bad boy I take to record all of that. This thing can record 4K at 30 FPS so it can also be used as a backup camera as well. But these things are just absolutely incredible. Not to mention the vast amount or majority of mounts that the GoPro comes with. I have a little hard case with all of my GoPro mounts uh, in there so I don't lose any of them. So that is the GoPro Hero 4, a really cool little camera. Now next to that we have Google Glass. Now the only reason I have or even wear Google Glass is because of the camera. When I go to foreign countries, I'm usually making videos for you guys. So to get a POV experience from Glass to put in the video is, is really, really cool to have that POV experience. And it saves the question of people asking, you know, why are you recording or, or what are you recording? Because people don't expect you to be recording with these things. So I just use them for the camera. I know they've got many other uses, but all I use them for is the camera. Now that is pretty much it. All we've got left is the cables. Now this is the MagSafe charger for the MacBook. 
This is a uh, USB Type C. No, no, you're not USB Type C. This is US, uh, USB Mini B lead for the GoPro Hero 4. This is a Lightning connector uh, for the iPad and the iPhone. And this is a uh, Micro B uh, USB lead which charges the Anchor. Um, which charges the Anchor uh, portable battery and the Google Glass. And I've also got a little adapter here, which if I put that on there, it will uh, change it to a lightning cable. So I actually have two lightning cables to charge both the iPad and the phone simultaneously. And I think that's it. Honestly, guys, I think that's it. That's a lot of things there to cover. All these things have got to fit inside of this bag and they do so very comfortably. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, a like rating would be much appreciated. If you guys want any information on the products, I'll try and link them down in the description. My iWatch is going off. I've got a beast somewhere. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.